I'm Mr. Crosby's lunch. I presume you mean sir, Michael Crosby's lunch. Presumably. If you follow me. Started without you. Hope you don't mind. I'll catch up. Same for me, please. I'll send the waiter. I'll just pass on the order. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Anglo-Russian. So I have to watch my step. Indeed, he's tapped into the intelligence services. I've warned them he's feeding them rubbish, but they don't seem to care. Tell me about him. I assume you're familiar with the Soviet-era secret cities. Closed cities, not shown on maps, built around sensitive industries. Most of them have been opened up and renamed as regular towns. Not the one Sato grew up in, Stalsk 12. In the 70s, it had a population of about 200,000, thought to be abandoned. Abandoned? Some kind of accident, after which it was used for underground tests. Two weeks ago, the same day as the Kiev Opera siege, we spotted a detonation in northern Siberia, just where Stalsk 12 was. Sato emerged from this blank spot on the map with ambition, and enough money to buy his way into the British establishment. Through his wife? Catherine Barton, eldest niece of Sir Frederick Barton. She works at Shipley's, met Sato at an auction. A happy marriage? Practically estranged. Well, how do I get to Sato? Well, through her, of course. Well, you may have an inflated idea of my powers of seduction. Hardly. We have an ace in the hole. They're carrying a Goya in a Harrods bag. It's a fake by a Spaniard named Arepo. One of the two we confiscated from an embezzler in Bern. What happened to the other one? Turned up at Shipley's, authenticated by Catherine Barton, put on auction. And who do you think bought it? Her husband? Mm -hmm. Does she know it's a forgery? Well, it's hard to say. Rumor has it that she and Arepo were close. Uh -huh. Look, no offense. But in this world where someone is claiming to be a billionaire, Brooks Brothers won't cut it. I'm assuming I'm on a budget. Save the world, then we'll balance the books. Can I recommend a tailor? I'll manage.